Hello everyone, my name is Philip Boxa. I'm the co-founder of King of Mate, and I am the CEO and book and uh, co-founder of Booking Koala. And in this video, I'll go ahead and talk to you about the growth of King of Mates, how we grew that company to over $5 million in about three years. Um, so we'll go ahead and talk about the strategies that we've used, how I started, why I started, all the good stuff. And hopefully once this video is done, you um, are a little motivated to start something of your own and you kind of see what is possible. So with uh, so we have prepared a few questions over here. I'll go down the list. Um, the first one is what made you want to start? So the reason why I started was because one day at my job and I work with my father, I would install carpeting with him. So it was a lot of manual labor. I didn't mind it, but it's definitely not something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I was working with him throughout high school um, and one day I was just sitting there and I was really thinking about it and I was thinking if this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life. And the answer became very clear. And that's the day that I decided to move away from that and do something. And I also wanted to make a good amount of money, not because I wanted to be filthy rich or anything like that, but because I knew that freedom was important to me. I, I enjoyed you know, spending time with friends, family, and things like that. And I knew that one day, you know, um, to achieve that, I would have to become free. I didn't want to, you know, be on a schedule. I never liked being on a schedule and things like that. So through business, I knew that I could achieve that. So um, I started, which brings us to our next question. How did you, uh, how did you get started? So I had a best friend from high school that I've approached. And I knew he would be a good fit because he did some incredible things already at a young age. Um, and he, you know, I proved to him that I'm, I'm a dedicated guy as well. Um, never, never get into trouble or anything like that. So we started together. And when I approached him, it was an easy decision for him to say yes. And we decided on a cleaning business. And that's what we started. Um, number three, did you have any experience starting out? I had no experience when we started out, neither of uh, us did. So I'll give you a little bit of an in-depth background. So the only experience that I've possibly could have had was that my dad ran a business, but we never talked about business. Maybe what I've observed is what I um, learned over the last few years. But when I started, keep in mind, I was only 19 around 19 years old. So I didn't really have much experience or much knowledge. I didn't really pay attention to what he was doing. Um, you know, it's not something that I was, you know, making a priority of to just keep watching and learn from him. Um, he also didn't have a large business or anything like that. So there was not much experience that I could have gotten. And my partner, he, um, in high school, he was flipping things on eBay. So he knew how to make money, but it wasn't anything in terms of running a business. Apart from that, we had no experience. Uh, we were going to college when we started. It was our first year of college when we started the business. And um, we never finished because when the business started to pick up, we basically, both of us dropped out to focus all of our time and efforts on King of Maids. Um, so we never had any marketing degrees, business degrees, nothing like that, no connections. We only started out with, and that actually takes us to the next point. So we'll go ahead and start um, talking about how much did you invest when starting out, which was only $6,000, okay? 3,000 that I put in and 3,000 that my partner put in. And um, I didn't have much money. I had, I was saving throughout my high school years whenever I was working with my dad, but I only maybe had like $5,000, $6,000 combined and half of it went into the business, if not more. Okay. Um, so that's basically how much, how we started, how much experience we had and how much um, we've invested into the business. Now, today you could do things like that for much less, especially when you're using Booking Koala, right? There are softwares out there that could help you 
um, you know, create your own website in seconds and all you do is pay a, a membership. When we started out, majority of our budget went to developing a site, right? We wanted the whole um, online booking and all the things that were becoming popular at the time, which we'll go ahead and get into in just a second. But that's where majority of our business, um, you know, a majority of our budget went because when we started, we kind of started getting clients for free, right? We were using uh, techniques to get clients for free. So majority of that went into developing something, which was expensive at the time. But today, if you use things like Booking Koala, um, you know, you could pay a monthly membership of, you know, $50 or less um, and, and get these tools that we had to develop from scratch. Uh, and that's kind of how, you know, Booking Koala came to be, because since we were already developing something like that for, for King of Maids, years later, um, we had the opportunity to turn that software um, into Booking Koala, which if you guys read my story and how Booking Koala started, you may already know, then you guys will learn a little bit more about that. I think it's a pretty interesting story. Um, and uh, let's move on to the next question. So we have, um, what are the two most important things when, uh, that everyone should know? Okay, so two things um, that I believe are very important are to start away but to start right away and to set yourself up for scalability. So to start or to start right away, I believe that's the keys, one of the keys to success, because if you don't start, you will never be successful, right? There's a lot of people that say they will start, but they never start. There's a lot of people that, you know, say they're waiting for a better time, things like that. But when, when you start a business and you start to see success, you guys will learn quickly that there is no such a thing as a perfect time because business is all about mistakes. And the more mistakes you make, um, the faster you will achieve your end goal. Okay. And two, um, the, the outcome is never the same as what you've envisioned. Okay. What I mean by that is you may have a perfect plan uh, in motion. You might have a perfect plan drawn up on paper. But once you start to see and once you go live in business, things will change, okay? Um, that plan will no longer be the same a week from when you started, two weeks, a month, a year, five years, right? The, the, the goals will change. The market will change. Um, so there's really no perfect moment to start something. Um, and the next thing is set yourself up for scalability. What I mean by that is um, you don't, necessarily um so you don't want to do things that will prevent you from growing okay growth is number is the key if you're looking to grow a business quickly you guys need to make sure that everything is scalable that means uh softwares procedures manuals managers things that you know uh, save a lot of time and can be scaled so here are a few examples um one of them is collecting cash and checks in in terms of the cleaning business maybe other businesses could get away with it um like a store or something like that but when you're a cleaning business um you have to collect credit cards only unless you're running a small cleaning business but if you're looking to scale and grow quickly you have to be prepared for the scale for the scalability because when we started we actually used to take cash and check and that was a hassle because now that you either have to go pick up every single one of these um, checks from the customer or the cleaner has to do it. Then you have to wait for them to give it to you unless they come to your store. Then it's a little different. But if you're running things, you know, um, virtually and online, then these cleaners have to come and kind of, you know, deposit that into the bank or send it to you then you have to count it there's money that goes missing things like that that it it takes way too much time and efforts okay when we were doing that we had to either you know collect it from them or they had to deposit into the bank then we had to track everything it was just a hassle so we decided to switch to online payments only and it made world a difference right you don't now it went from all this work to no work the customer would pay themselves um and you know, uh, you could pay out the provider after that without an issue. Everything is tracked uh, through reports and things like that. And now that's when the game, the game changed because now we, 
you know, we, it saved so much time, we could have put that in, put those efforts into marketing. And that's how you should be doing. Another, um, another thing, uh, what I mean by scalability is hiring, right, when you start, okay, so there are two different types of people, there will be people that try to try to start and perform the cleaning themselves or there will be people that um, go with the mindset that they do not want to do the cleaning themselves and they want to grow the business they want to focus on the marketing so that's another term of setting yourself up for scalability if you're doing the job yourself then you're going to be growing slower because now you do the job you come home you do the marketing oftentimes you'll be tired especially when business picks up that you won't be doing um, the marketing when you get home, you'll say you'll just do it tomorrow and guess guess what happens then you're um, You know Pushing the most important parts. Okay, because if you want freedom you want to scale your business You have to do marketing you have to grow fast and by hiring someone and outsourcing the work now you may be um, you know pushing some of those short-term gains um, away Okay, because you're going to be making less than if you did it yourself, but that's only a short, short term, um, you know, thing in the long term, you're going to win, especially when you get four five, six providers at that point, you're going to be making the same uh, amount of money. And guess what? You're never leaving the house. Okay, then uh, you keep scaling, right? You keep growing, you get managers, you get more manuals in pr uh, place, and then that's how you start to grow. So I think those would be the, the most important parts, making sure that you actually start, okay? And two, uh, setting yourself with the mindset of scalability, okay? Um, let's go on to the next question. I think we have um, one more question here, okay? And then uh, number six, what marketing strategies did we use? So <clears throat> um, when we first started right away, when uh, before we actually even open our doors, we kind of had the idea of pushing everything online. And the reason why was because, you know, Uber was becoming a thing. Um, and we saw services that are offering convenience. And we didn't see anybody doing because we didn't do any research on any cleaning company as companies yet or anything like that. So we, we found a developer, we started uh, building a an online form and then a couple weeks later go by and then my partner actually found someone um, that was doing the same thing in the cleaning industry and that kind of already validated our idea of you know pushing towards online and giving a customer um, an online experience the convenience experience like uber did so that became our marketing strategy. We wanted to attract customers that book based on convenience. And what that did for us um, allowed us to scale again, because we didn't rely on customers to call in at the time or anything like that. We wanted to hook a customer that would book an appointment online um, and we would just connect them with the provider so that we literally didn't have to do anything, right? Um, we just had to find a way to market, which we'll go on and talk uh, about in just a second, connect the customer with the ad, um, get them to come on the online booking form, submit their details, pass the details over to the cleaner. And then that's basically um, how it all started, right? Then we started to improve things like reviews uh, that are sent out after the uh, cleaning has been completed. To start growing our brand um, and things along those lines that came a little later but at first we just wanted to focus on that customer and we only had a limited amount of money so we started with just a simple online booking form and tried to attract that customer with without doing as uh, you know phone calls and as much support as possible and to attract our first set of customers we started out by advertising on craigslist because it was free uh, I'm not sure if it's free at the, uh, currently. It might be like five dollars to post an ad or something like that. But we would literally post ads nonstop as much as we could to attract as many customers as we could. Um, and since it was free, um, we knew that also people on Craigslist shop based on price. So we gave them discounts. We gave them heavy discounts to book with us. And what we knew to do was to push those users to book 
um, our service and once the, once they've uh, completed the service we would really go after them with reviews and those reviews would be put on Yelp because we knew Yelp was also a popular site at the time as it is still today um, and we knew that if we could leverage Yelp and, and rank ourselves on the first page we would also be able to generate revenue that way. So every client that we got free turned into a reoccurring customer. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them did. Um, and we tried to push every single one of them towards Yelp. And then after a while, Yelp started to kick in and that's when the business really started to boom. And um, that's where everything took off, okay? So, that's that's how we started. That's that's the entire story. That's why we started. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the story. I hope it motivated you a little bit to start. Um, remember, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, you have to work hard. You have to work smart. Make sure your plans are there. They may change, but have some kind of plan and then execute. Because if you don't execute, nothing will happen. Okay, you have to work hard, you have to work smart. Remember that and, and always remember it's a marathon, not a sprint, no matter what you do um, in business and, and in life. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. We have more to come and take care everyone.